Vous écoutez Drops of the Lectionary, la méditation quotidienne de la parole de Dieu proposée par la DAL, l'aumônerie diocésaine de l'apostolat des laïcs de la chidiocèse de Douala. Seigneur, au début de cette journée, je me retourne vers toi, mon âme a soif de toi. Que ta présence m'apporte la paix en toutes choses pour ta plus grande gloire. Amen. Lecture du Cantique des Cantiques, chapitre 2, versets 8 à 14. La voix de mon bien-aimé, c'est lui, il vient. Il bondit sur les montagnes, il court sur les collines, mon bien-aimé pareil à la gazelle, au pharaon de la biche. Le voici, c'est lui qui se tient derrière notre mur. Il regarde aux fenêtres, guette par les triages, il parle. Mon bien-aimé, il me dit, lève-toi mon ami, ma toute belle, et viens. Parole du Seigneur My brothers and sisters, today there are two readings offered by the lectionary, one from the Song of Songs and one from Prophet Zephaniah. For those who cannot handle the sexual images of love expressed in the Song of Songs, The book of the Songs of Songs is a very graphic sexual book in the Bible. It says that the longing which we have for God can be compared to the sexual ecstasy that a human being has for another. One of the greatest spiritual writers of our time, Father Ron Hoheiser, says that Spiritual life is about dealing with the spiritual fire that burns within each and every one of us. A fire which can be compared to the burning desire for sexual life. He says that there's a burning desire in us which will not go away until we begin to make real life choices about it. And it is a desire that makes us act. He says when we follow that deepest desire and act, what we do leads to one of two things. Either we live a peaceful and harmonious life because we make the right choices, or we live a broken life, a life broken from within, which gradually leads our whole existence into a mess, into sadness, because we make wrong choices. In the Bible, we know of the prophet Jeremiah who tells us about the fire burning in his bone. Life with God is about how we respond to that urgent longing of a fire burning in us. If we make choices for God, we find harmony and peace. If we don't, we find brokenness, anxiety, and pain. The Advent liturgy reverses the order of this longing. Reading from the Song of Songs today, it is about God longing for us, God's desire for our soul, for our life, stirs up his action for us. He comes running to us. Like a lover, he longs for every bit of us. Christmas is when God's longing for us meets our longing for him. He becomes human and because of his longing for our souls he comes seeking for us where we are. We become capable of loving him and loving others in ways that we could not initially imagine. So as Christmas draws near 
Sometimes the noise around us will quiet down in the peacefulness of our homes, of our houses, far away from shopping and preparation. In such moments, may you also feel the deep longing that God has for you. In your moments of silence and quiet, may his longing stir your heart into a better longing for his presence, for his life in you. Let us pray. Seigneur, je te prie par les paroles du prophète Jérémie. Tu m'as séduit et je me suis laissé séduire. Tu m'as terrassé. Tu as été le plus fort. Seigneur, j'aimerais ressentir ta présence pour toujours. J'aimerais ressentir le feu de ton amour en moi, le désir que tu as pour moi. Que ta présence en moi me délivre de mes péchés et de tout mal et m'accorde la paix pour que mes actions, mes pensées et mes désirs puissent trouver leur origine en toi et en toi parviennent à leur achèvement. Amen. Que Dieu Tout-Puissant te bénisse, le Père, le Fils et le Saint-Esprit. Ici, Abbé Michael de la Dalle.